Hello Learning Birds, this is Mr. Buffington and today we are going to look at a geometry lesson about transformations. That's translation, rotation, and reflection. Translation, often called the slide, is when you move an object without changing its size or rotating it. So here's an example of translation. We would take this happy face and we would move it up to there. Again, it's the same exact size the smiley face is the same size, hasn't changed, hasn't rotated at all. It's exactly the same, it just moves from one place to another. Here's another example with a pentagon. We're going to go ahead and slide it over to there. That's a translation. So the translation is when you move an object without changing its size or rotating it. Here's our final example. We have the sun. We're just going to move it up to the top. All right, so that's an example or several examples of translation. You can translate on a graph. You can translate um, on a screen just like this. When you translate something, you're just moving it. The next transformation is called rotation. Rotation is when you turn an object around a point. So in this case, I've given us the red point on the slide there. So what you're going to see is that um, I'm going to rotate this rectangle Oops, sorry, there we go. All the way around that point. And you can rotate it as far as you want or as little as you want. And that point that you're rotating around is called the point of rotation. And it can be on the inside or outside of the shape or actually on the shape. In this case, it's actually on a corner or a vertex of the rectangle. But it can be inside, outside, or on the actual shape. And, and that makes for different types of rotation. For example, if it's on the point like this, it'll look like it's hinging almost. If it's inside, it'll look like the object is sitting in place maybe and just spinning around. And if it's outside, it might look like the object is taking a huge arc in the air. It could be doing all sorts of different things. But all of those are rotating. The object remains the same size. It just twists around. It turns around. And the final type of transformation that we are going to talk about is reflection. Reflection is when you flip an object around a line. Our line is called the line of reflection. And what we're going to do is reflect this triangle. Now triangle ABC, I've labeled the points on this because it's important with this one that we know the triangle's points that correlate are A prime, B prime, and C prime. All right, that is the new triangle that we've created on the right side of the line of reflection. And something, it's sometimes difficult with like a square, for example, to be able to tell where exactly which point correlates with which new point. So a good way to check is that you say point A. How far is it from the line of reflection? New point A should be the same distance from that line of reflection. So point C is really close, so point C would be the one that's really close. Point B is far, therefore B prime, or the new B point, um, is going to be farther away. So a quick recap on what we've covered today. We have looked at the transformations of translation, which is sliding an object or moving an object without changing its size or rotating it. Rotation, which is actually turning an object around a point. And reflection, which is flipping an object around a line of reflection. Hopefully that lesson's been helpful for you learning birds. Have a wonderful day.